Hi guys, good afternoon. I'm Dr. Ensign Durla, your professor for today for the Jose Maria College of Medicine, uh, Department of Anatomy. And today's lecture will cover the motor and cutaneous um, nerve supply of the lower limb. So these nerves from the peripheral nervous system mostly comes from the lumbar plexus and the sacral plexus. So let's begin. First, we're going to discuss is the femoral nerve. It is the largest branch of the lumbar plexus from L2, L3, L4. It emerges from the lateral border of the psoas major muscle within the abdomen and passes downwards in the interval between the psoas major and iliacus. It enters the thigh lateral to the femoral artery and sheath behind the inguinal ligament. It is not inside the sheath. Below the inguinal ligament, it divides into anterior and posterior divisions, roughly around 1.5 cm. The femoral uh, nerve supplies all muscles of the anterior compartment. So remember, femoral nerve um, will supply the anterior compartment, muscles of the anterior compartment. Obturator nerve will supply all of the muscles in the medial compartment. And sciatic nerve will supply all of the muscles in the posterior compartment. The anterior division of the femoral nerve, remember that it divides um, roughly around 1.5 cm below the inguinal ligament into a posterior anterior division. So the anterior division of the femoral nerve will give two cutaneous and two muscular. Now first for the two cutaneous uh, branch, it is the medial uh, cutaneous nerve of the thigh and the intermediate cutaneous nerve of the thigh. It will supply the anterior and medial skin of the thigh. And in the two muscular of the anterior, anterior branch, remember there is a two cutaneous and two muscular. Now for the two cutaneous, this is the uh, two muscular. It is the sartorius and the pectineus. But the book says sometimes the obturator nerve will supply the pectineus. Now for the, remember that we have a posterior and anterior division of the femoral nerve. The posterior division of the femoral nerve gives one cutaneous and uh, it will also give a um, muscular branch to supply the quadriceps muscles. The other branch of the posterior division will become the saphenous nerve. It runs down the medial side of the leg together with the saphenous vein and terminates in the ball of the big toe. And now, we will discuss the sciatic nerve. It is the largest nerve in the body and it arises from the sacral plexus, from the branches of L4, L5, S1, S2, and S3. It runs down the posterior leg and supplies the posterior compartment of the, of the thigh. It divides into the common peroneal and the tibial nerves. It passes down the piriformis and moves to the posterior leg and exits the pelvis via the sciatic foramen. This nerve or the sciatic nerve is a combination of the tibial part and a common peroneal part enclosed by a connective tissue. The sciatic nerve terminates just above or at the angle of the popliteal fossa where it divides into the tibial nerve and the common peroneal nerve again. The tibial nerve, the largest terminal branch of the sciatic nerve, arises in the lower third of the, th of the thigh. It runs downward through the popliteal fossa, lying first on the lateral side of the popliteal artery. It has cutaneous and muscular branch. So for the cutaneous, the sural nerve um, descends between the two heads of the gastrocnemius muscle and is usually joined by the sural communicating branch of the common fibular nerve. The muscular branch of the tibial nerve supply both heads of the gastrocnemius and the plantaris, the soleus, and popliteus muscle. It also has <coughs> articular branches that supply the knee joint. The smaller terminal branch of the sciatic nerve, the common fibular nerve or sometimes called the common peroneal nerve, arises in the lower third of the thigh. It runs downward through the popliteal fossa, 
closely following the medial border of the biceps femoris muscle. It will again divide into the superficial fibular nerve and the deep fibular nerve. It has the following branches. For the cutaneous, the common fibular nerve will have the sural communicating branch and runs downward and joins the sural nerve that was from the tibial nerve. The lateral cutaneous nerve of the calf will supply the skin on the lateral side of the back of the legs. As for the muscular branch of the common fibular nerve, um, it has a branch to the short head of the biceps femoris muscles, which arises high up in the popliteal fossa. And it also has articular branches to the knee joint. Next nerve that we will discuss is the obturator nerve. This nerve also arises from the lumbar plexus from L2, L3, L4. It runs forward in the pelvic brim to the obturator foramen, the hole that you can see here, and exit to the medial compartment of the thigh. This is to innervate all of the adductor muscles except the adductor magnus since partially it is also innervated by the tibial branch of the sciatic nerve. The obturator nerve um, also has cutaneous branches that supplies the skin of the proximal part of the medial thigh.